Hey guys, Praveen here and in this video we are going to look at how I made this dashboard page using the Shatsian theming colors that we have right here. So basically the color, all the colors in this page comes from the Tailwind color palette system. So we are going to take a look at that right over here in the design system. So all these colors are from the Tailwind CSS design system. But on top of that, we need some colors for like borders, um, the foreground color, the background color, popover color and things like that, brand color, primary brand color, everything. So we need a theming system on top of this just so we, just so we know how we use, how to use the colors there and uh, if you have a named system, uh, maybe all developers can also have uh, an idea of where to use certain colors if they are not sure in the design. So. If I select this dashboard that we have over here, you can see all the colors in this page. So here we are using two Tailwind colors called Emerald 600 and Yellow 600. That's for the, the status active buttons. Apart from that, everything comes from theme foreground, theme muted foreground, theme border, theme background and theme accent and theme primary. So these theme colors are from the variables that I have here. So as you can see it has border, input, ring, background, foreground, primary, primary foreground, secondary, secondary foreground, destructive, destructive foreground, muted, muted foreground, accent, accent foreground, popover, popover foreground, chord and chord foreground. So the foreground and normal is muted is for the background color. So if let me see, show you a chord. If I have a chord like this one, that can have the chord as the background. So it will have the white color as the background and foreground is everything that comes on top of it. Like the text colors, the icon colors, if it has current color in it. So that has the foreground color that goes for popover, muted, every, everything. So in this page, I'll just select the page and as you can see here, it has theme foreground. So theme foreground colors is for the uh, titles things like this this one and this price everything has a theme foreground which which is basically if you come here if you go down to the foreground color here it's slate 950 but if you want to change theme foreground on all the pages that we have if you have like 20 20 dashboard pages if you want to just change the foreground color here you can just come here and change the theme colors to any any uh, any other color, color in the Tailwind Design System. That goes for the red, red destructive colors and uh, everything else here. So if you see here, we have the primary color over here called theme primary. And if you want to change again the primary color everywhere, you don't have to go in and change the rose color that we have here. You can just go into local variables and change only the primary colors that we have. So it changes all the in all the other places. So let me go back to the selection colors over here. Yes. And theme muted foreground. That's for the muted colors, which probably has slate 500 as its color over here. And for the icon colors also, it should have muted foreground, yep. So yeah, as you can see, this is just a simpler theming experience for most web apps. It's easy to know what goes where. Theme border is for all the borders like this, like in the table borders, the pill borders everywhere. Theme border, theme background is just the background of everything, the this background here. Here, the background for the center color, everything. So it's much simpler to know who, who, what the color is and where we can use it. And uh, if you don't have any theme, if you don't, uh, if you're not using anything from this theme colors, you can just go revert back to the Tailwind colors, which is uh, Emerald 600, Yellow 600. So you can go back to this design system colors, everything that we have here. Uh, yeah, I think that's all. If you want more deep uh, dive into each and every color uh, theme variables we have here and what it does, we, I can create a new video for you. And 
so we have the default and we can also add another variable mode if you add another variable mode we can so for border for example we can add slate 300 as the light board border and we can have slate 700 as the dark mode border so this theming helps in uh, the way uh, the light mode dark mode color switches also so that's also helpful if you have a theme color like this all the theming variables like this so yeah it's just a basic good way to color everything in your application and uh, it's a great way to update all the colors in your application easily so if i just want to change all the foreground color to something else i can just go and to the local variables i'll just shorten this yeah i can just go into the, all the local variables and if i want to change the foreground color i can go here and change it to something else maybe red and everything will be red right now so yeah it's that simple if I want to change the border color, I can just go in and change it to black. And it will update everywhere. So it's just the variables, but it's uh, it's the variables referencing another variable color. So it has extra powers in my opinion. That's all. Let me know if you want deep dive into the shadow and theming, variable theming and everything. Bye bye.